Kia ora. Um, this is from my kitchen to yours. So cauliflower cheese. Um, that is a, basically a white sauce and then you um, add cheese to it and you put whatever vegetable you like in that. Uh, anything tastes good in white sauce, we have discovered. But one of the favourites in our house is um, white sauce with... Um, with cauliflower so that's what I'm going to be doing today why because my son who's out flatting said mum I must know how to make that because it's my favorite so here I am in my kitchen and I'm just having a look down there lovely spot that I've got here to work so um, the old um, Edmunds cookbook has uh, has a recipe for white sauce and it basically is two tablespoons of butter two tablespoons of flour and um, a cup of milk. Now that kind of quantity might be okay for one person and maybe that's perfect for my son, but when I'm making it for a family, easily times four. So um, I'm just going to grab the, the butter here. And um, guesstimating about there. and cut that into smaller pieces and pop it in there. So you would normally put the, the butter and the flour um, in together to melt. So the butter is melting, but the flour is, is actually cooking. So because what, as soon as you add the milk, the flour is only going to be thickening it. It's, it's not going to actually cook the flour. So actually having the flour in here and cooking it um, with the flour, with the butter rather, is going to do the trick because you don't want that, um, you don't want that um, raw. And over here we have the cauliflower cooking. Now I love using a cauliflower for this. Um, I've got my old steamer pot here. Um, fabulous pot, just just an old basic basic pot and it's the only one I've ever needed for the last 20 years. Um, it's, I'm very fortunate because it's got a double steamer unit. Quite often both of those are going on a meal. But the great thing about um, doing cauliflower cheese is you use the whole cauliflower. So unlike when you are um, maybe you know, doing a salad or something like that where you might avoid using the, the longer stems and just more of the flour. This is all I cut out. That's the only thing you lose. So you cut the cauliflower in half and you take out that out of one half and that out of the other half. It's basically like coring an apple. And um, yeah, so it's all good. And so you use the entire cauliflower for this. Um, and so once you've steamed the cauliflower, you'll be able to add it to your, to your white sauce. Um, so this is melting up okay. So you just mix it in. I better change over here. Um, just mix it in like this. And then you just put it on again. So this will thicken anything that we add to it in a minute. So I will just do that for another minute before we start adding the milk. Now, because I've done a fairly random amount of butter and a random amount of flour, I'll be able to estimate um, just slowly thicken it up so you put I'll put a bit of milk in it and maybe about two cups worth and then I'll slowly let it thicken with for one minute in the microwave and when I stir it that first time if I think it's a bit too thick I'll add some more um, I'll add some more milk in and do it again so just grab the cheese out now, now another great cheat about this thing this kind of recipe is you don't need to grate your cheese so in actual fact you can just whack in a few slices of cheese and melt it in the mic in the microwave on the final stir so there we go it's steaming away there so a lot of people will um, just run a, a knife through the cauliflower just to make it a bit smaller once you put it into the sauce you don't need to. In fact, it looks really nice on a plate if you just put, you know, a couple of those bigger bits with some cheese sauce over the top. But I have to say that our family has gotten to the habit of me whizzing the whole thing, just um, 
breaking the cauliflower up into smaller pieces and and doing it that way so here we go so it's got a bit of a sizzle on there the butter and flour mixture I don't even know if you can really see that but anyway sorry so I'm going to put in up to the 500 mil line and there's only a bit left in that bottle so I'll put the whole thing in a bit of a rough stir around and then here's Isaac it's his favorite it's your favorite isn't it oh, yep so we're gonna throw that in the microwave and put that on clear that put it on for another minute and that'll be good so what's gonna happen now is because we've actually cooked the flour the butter is going to um, just create that thickening um, that the milk will need to make it into a really nice sauce while that's happening we can just um, cut a bit of cheese and as I say I mean it's a great recipe because you don't even need to worry about grating your cheese you can just have a couple of bit, bit, bigger bits like that and it's all good to go so you know the um, the old white sauce is, is popular so if you don't have any cauliflower you can put any vegetable you like in it. I mean, I've got some um, silver beet sitting there. You can put some silver beet into it. And in fact, if you wanted to, and cauliflower was popular in your house, you could chop some of that up really fine and throw it in, <laughs> hide it in the mix. Um, and so I've used, you can use um, leafy vegetables. You can use other root vegetables like carrots, um, So white turnips are really nice done like this. All sorts of vegetables that you can um, do like this. So there it goes. Not thickening yet, but of course the, it won't really start to thicken until we um, get the milk up to temperature. And once the milk's up to temperature, it's all good to go. Okay, so this should be, the cauliflower should be getting a bit softer now, so I'll just test it. Um, you can do it at any um, state of being cooked. I mean, you can do it raw at the end of the day, but I like it super soft. So, and then I can basically run a potato masher over it if you haven't got a Vitamizer. So yeah, there it goes, it's getting nice and soft there. A bit longer and be all good to go. Uh, yeah, so as I say, you can do broccoli. Broccoli um, cheese is another nice, nice one. Broccoli, cauliflower, any of those kind of floret kind of vegetables and look actually now that I'm thinking about it I I really enjoy doing aubergines as well so you've got aubergines are really nice done um, in a white cheesy sauce um, in Dunedin here we sometimes have access to swede although I do enjoy swede mash better you could put some um, boil up some swede and put that through a white sauce as well you know at the end of the day anything's good with a white sauce and if you don't have any cheese just leave it at a white sauce with it with some um with some salt and pepper in it very nice so that the um the thickening is just starting to show at the bottom there the flour is starting to thicken up so we'll pop that on for another minute I mean, I always use a ceramic dish in the microwave. I don't like to use um, plastic. That's just a preference. I mean, you'll probably look into the science behind that, but um, yeah, I do prefer to stay away from plastic in the microwave. Um, and so I just use the heavy ceramic bowl. So if you've got an, um, you know, one of the Arca Rock kind of dishes, that type of thing, absolutely fine. So I'm just looking out there, the dogs are very happy that my son's home from lockdown. Well, he's, he's visiting anyway. He's visiting long enough to get some cauliflower cheese to take back to the flat. So, so all good, all good. But no, the, um, the cheese that I'll put in on, that, on the final stir, it'll just melt really nicely and, um, and be very tasty. I mean, once you've made it, 
actually, because I'm sending a whole cauliflower home with Isaac, back to the flat, actually once you've made it, there's nothing to stop you from putting half of it in the freezer, like actually doing serving size portions. Now, this should be starting, you can see it at the edge there, there's a slight thickness coming. I don't even know if I've got the camera pointing in the right direction. But there should be a, a slight thickening now. This is the third minute. So just one minute at a time. One minute stir, one minute stir. And that avoids getting any lumps in it. Now I haven't put any salt and pepper in here, but Isaac can do that if he if he wants to. I mean, I'd normally wait until it's complete, um, completely thickened before I put the cheese in. But today I'll just throw that in. I mean, when I was talking to Isaac about how much cheese I was going to put in, he goes whole block <laughs> I said May maybe not it's not exactly the healthiest thing um, but you know it's, it's a great way to have vegetables it's gonna be a surprise I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting for Mother's Day um, evening tea so apparently they're going to head out and get that soon so I'm making this to for Isaac to take back with him um, although I didn't mind um, a bit of white sauce on my on my chocolate pie. I certainly don't want chocolate pie on my white sauce. So I got out another fork. So absolutely thickened up now. So here it is. Um, sorry about before. That was my um, that was Mark ringing, ringing in with um, asking me what my Mother's Day evening meal order was. So um, not entirely sure what we decided on in the end, but food's coming home, which is great. So here's the um, here's the cheese sauce. I'll show you this now. That was just with two cups of two cups of milk in it, a bit of flour. Now remember the thing that's thickening it is the amount of flour that you put in. Even the cheese is just flavour. And at the end of the day you can make it with water. Um, the, the milk's not doing anything other than flavour as well, which makes it the more butter you put in, the richer it is. So if I put a bit more flour in, it would have thickened up more. Now some people like this super runny, and they like it just to pour over in a jug, whereas I'm I tend to like it just a bit thicker. So over here we've got the um, cauliflower. So yeah, you should be able to see that I think. So just with the masher, you can just break up the florets because it's been steamed for a while and it'll be super soft. Turn that round and break that up. And now all you do is in a large dish you would add your um, cauliflower and your cheese. And another nice thing to do is you um, grate it or grate or slice a bit more cheese and put it on top and put it under the grill, which gives it a nice um, roasted top. So look, that's um, a really simple white sauce. Please don't get into measuring. <laughs> measuring it um as i say the um the edmunds the edmunds recipe a um, bit of a family connection for us edmunds shorter rise is it in our family so look you can use their recipe which is um basically indicates two tablespoons of flour two tablespoons of butter and a cup of milk but as you can see um for a whole cauliflower that two to three cups quantity is going to be necessary for a whole cauliflower so I do suggest that um, you increase it a bit and remember that the amount of butter that you're putting in is um, for flavor and it it aids it assists the cooking of the flour in that first minute or two um, and the amount of flour that you put in um, is the amount of um, milk you can eventually add because it's the thickening agent so if, you know if you wanted to put um, half a cup of flour and then you could probably um, afford to be looking at a whole jug um, and in this case uh, eyesight failing a bit two and a half liters basically um, you could you could um, make a really large quantity and and do that but happy happy cooking um, a bit of cauliflower cheese um, from my kitchen to yours and don't forget um, you can su subscribe below and see what else my, my children must learn how to make. Um, and you can like the video. Thank you very much. See ya.